Hey everyone, welcome back again. Join the Aim a Soft Christmas event to get your free gift daily. Simply, go to Aim a Soft event page and click the current date on the advent calendar to get your Christmas gift. Visit the second link in the description. So, are you a new YouTuber and don't know how to edit your videos? Then make sure to stick to this tutorial because today we are going to review BeCut video editing software. You can download it from the first link in the description. If you are a video editor and using professional softwares, then this video may not be helpful for you. But if you are a beginner, then this software can be a life savior for you. So let's get started. B-Cut video editing software supports many aspect ratios for the videos, such as widescreen, traditional, portrait, square and many more. Let's start with the widescreen. Here you will find all your transition, filters, text and more. This is your timeline where you add your media. Above that, we have a bunch of tools. And this is where your video is going to appear. Let's start with importing the video. You can drop your file in this area, or simply click on this import. And choose your files from here. Just navigate to the media files, and click on the open. If you double click on your video, you can play it in real time. For editing a video, first, you need to add it into the timeline. You can place your video by dropping it on the timeline. Or simply click on this add icon. You can zoom into a timeline by dragging from this area. And this is how you check your video, by dragging this playhead. Let's start with trimming the video. Go to the section where you want to cut your video, and make sure to select it. Then go to the tools, and here click on this split icon. After that delete the rest part. Now the video has been trimmed out. Let's do some color adjustments. Select the video clip which you want to edit. Then click on this edit icon, and this window will appear here. You can speed up, or slow down the clip. Or flip it according to your requirement. Let's add some contrast, as well as I am making the video a little bit darker. Just to make the character pop out. Do some final touch-ups, and then hit OK. Let's do the same with this clip, add some contrast, brightness or whatever you want to make your scene more interesting. Cool, my video clips don't have any sounds, but in case you have sound in your clip, you can remove it, by right clicking on your clip, and select audio detach. After that, you can delete that audio part. Let's add some music to it. Go to import, and then import your audio file. Just like the video clip, drop it to the timeline. You can add multiple audio clips, for example voiceover, and the background music. I am going to make the music shorter, so that it will match the duration of the video clip. Simply go to the end area, and then click on the split. Delete the rest part, and now our music, and the video is having the same duration. One thing you will like in this software, you can zoom in your video, just like I do in my tutorials. Select the clip in which you want to add zoom. Then click on this zoom icon. In this window, grab the yellow box, and place it onto the area, on which you want to zoom in. Everything in this yellow box will be focused on the frame. Hit OK. And this is your zoom in effect. You can play the clip by clicking on this icon here, or press the space bar. It will create zoom in, in the beginning, and zoom out at the end of this yellow rectangle. In case you want your zoom screen to stay a little, simply increase the length of the yellow part. Let's check it. It is now zooming in. Then stay still for a second and then zoom out back to the original size. Cool. 
Let's add some text. Actually, before adding text, I want to show you the filters. This one is my favorite, drop it onto the timeline, you can add it onto the filter track. This looks good already. You can increase the duration of this filter, by dragging it from the edge. But I want to apply another filter to the second clip, so I am making the filter shorter. Select another filter, which you want to add, and place it below this clip. Let's match the duration. And this is what we have now. Cool. Let's check out some overlays. I am adding this flare, because it will match with our filter. You can always double click on any of the filters, to check it before adding it. Let's add this light one, and increase the duration of it. Cool. Let's check out some transitions, they have a bunch of collection of nice looking transition. Of course you can add anyone you want, but for this tutorial, I'm going to add wipe right. Drag and drop it, between the video clips. Click on the play button, and you can see it in real time. It's time to add some text, they have many of these pre-made text styles, which will suit with any of your videos, or you can create one with your own. I am going to select this blank text, add it onto the timeline, I am adding it to the end. Let's select this black part, and delete it. You can place the text anywhere you want. Of course right on your video clip. Increase the duration, and now we are going to edit. Double click on your text layer. This window will appear. You can add animation, or I can say motion into your text, different style. You can change font, as well as the size of it. Let's quickly change the text of it. I am speeding up this process. Cool, you can use any font you have installed on your computer, and make sure to align the text into the center. Always follow the designing rule. Play the video clip, and this is what we have created in just a few clicks. Cool. This is easy. You also have this elements option. In this section, you have this bunch of pre-made elements, which you can add on your video. You need to download it. You can do it by connecting to the internet. Just download it, and place it onto the timeline. Now the last step is to export your video. Click on this export button, and this window will appear. Choose the video format you want or the device, or just audio. Set your destination, where you want to export it. And a name for it. Then click on this gear icon, and choose the quality you want. I am using Encoder H.264, because most of the device support it. It supports up to 60 frames per second, so it will definitely helpful for the gamers. Use bitrate. I usually go with 10,000 bits per second. Audio encoder looks fine, let's change the bitrate to 320. Click OK, and then export. Wait for a moment, and your video will be ready. You can download this software from the first link in the description. Thanks for watching this video, have a good day.